Hello, I'm Tim Lawrence, Edexcel's Psychology Subject Advisor, and this video is for teachers at Edexcel centres looking at Exam Wizard, Edexcel's tool for building past papers. So if I click on this link, it will open this login page, accept the terms and conditions, and log in. If you don't have a login, then as long as you are a teacher at an Edexcel centre, your exams officer or exams manager should be able to set you up a login. I'm going to come here to build a paper and then choose between ASMA level or GCSE psychology. Now the first thing I will then do is hit this clear button, which is the big thing that I have recently learned and I'll explain why that's important in a moment. It means I have to select this again, but I'm now starting a clean search and without putting anything into any of the menus or boxes, if I hit the search button it will just give me a list of all of the questions uh, which is currently 404 as of March 2023 that are stored in Exam Wizard for Psychology. Now what I might then think to do is put a keyword like assess into the keyword search uh, but this doesn't actually give me what I'm, I'm expecting it to because the keyword search is not searching the text of the question it's just looking for the tags and we don't actually have these questions tagged with the command words. So that's the, the first thing, the keyword search, you have to um, get used to a little bit and it's not quite as helpful as it could be. If I was to put in a keyword like psychodynamic here, uh, that should work because questions related to psychodynamic psychology should have that tag. But now I've got zero hits and this is a, a problem that I um, have been <laughs> wrestling with myself. It turns out the problem is that the browser by default remembers the previous keywords that have been typed in. So even though assess is no longer visible, it's actually searching for questions that are tagged with both assess and psychodynamic. And that's why it's necessary to clear. Then I re-choose uh, AS and A level. Then if I put psychodynamic in here, I've actually got some questions to choose from that relate to the psychodynamic approach. Um, now if I go back here, and uh, again I will clear to get rid of that, otherwise even if I delete that word I'm still only searching amongst those five questions tagged with psychodynamic. Um, over here extended writing uh, is uh, quite a useful thing to select, but just remember that you would need to clear if you didn't want to keep um, your, your search field filtered to the 174 questions tagged with extended writing. Uh, so again, just always whenever you're going back and editing your search, just hit clear, start again from scratch, get into that habit, and uh, then you won't keep running into the problem, hopefully, where you're getting many fewer questions returned in your searches than you, you hope. I will show you one more thing, which is to use the topic selector, and I think this works quite well and allows you to fairly quickly drill down into the specification. You've got a choice first of all between 8PS0 which is AS or 9PS0 which is A-level. If I go into paper one by clicking that plus then into social psychology I'm going to select issues and debates. This is an example, key questions, issues and debates from each of these topics and uh, then if I say done, nothing else selected, no other keywords, and I've got 12 questions uh, which I've actually already added to a paper here just by clicking add which has become view or become remove sorry after I've, I've added. So um, that is how to quite quickly build a paper and then you can have uh, various different papers in here. If you click export on any one of them um, then you can choose whether to just include the questions or just the mark scheme or both. The examiner's report uh, very, very helpful, of course, because for Edexcel these contain uh, examples of student responses with examiner's commentary. So um, in case you're interested in having a look at the outcome, um, I will put a link in the description to this particular Word document that will be exported by clicking that button. Thank you very much for, for watching. Please do give Exam Wizard a fresh go if it's not worked for you well in, in the past and try just always clicking that clear button before you do any searching. Thank you for watching.